an all new Epsoa Conflix. Today I'm excited to show you an all new robotic modular kit. This here is the all new Neuron Inventor Kit from MakeBlock. A company we've seen before that makes a lot of great products such as the MBOT as well as the AirBlock. Now, this here is a robotic kit that teaches you about modular design, including coding as well as STEM education. So if you want your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Now, the way this has worked is quite interesting. It's literally a simplified version of a robotic kit that works with magnets that literally just go ahead and plug and play and allow you to create different designs. This includes a LED, a gyroscope, among a variety of different sensors. So being able to use this should be quite fun, not to mention it's always expandable. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Now, first thing I want to say is on the box itself, it kind of talks about it a little bit more in detail. So it says it's an inventor kit that you can actually program the electric box to do different things, which is really cool. So you get a variety of lights, cameras, sensors, and they're literally plug and play, which is actually really neat, especially for a small child who's trying to learn about programming and go, not going into the big details. Now, as we rotate it over, we actually see what's involved. So we get ourselves a power base station, a blue Bluetooth, a funny touch which allows you to go ahead and connect to random things and create a unique sense of uh, touch, as well as a gyroscope, a buzzer, a dual servo driver, an LED panel, even a servo. Now there's also accessories as well which includes a board, uh, friction pin connectors, uh, different funny switches that includes the wires as well as the uh, USB cable, rubber bands, servo accessories, user manuals, and of course a case material pack. Kind of giving you an idea exactly how to go ahead of, upon this and what you can make. Now on the back here it talks about in terms of like the apps go, so there's an app that you can use to go ahead and program it, but you actually don't even need an app which is really cool too. Now on the bottom here it says they're durable and they're actually they clip in using magnetic field. And over here are some examples of the things that you can make. So let's go ahead and slide this out and see what's on the inside. All right, so that just kind of slides off just like that. And then we have ourselves another box. Oh, these cute little characters on the bottom over here. Uh, so <laughs> this guy looks like he's angry. He looks like a little baby. So he you know, definitely has a very kid-friendly appearance. Uh, so this actually just goes ahead and opens up like that. Oh wow, that's actually really cool. So everything's really nicely organized. Oh wow, that's actually really, really neat. Uh, so you got some like little cartoon characters on the top here. So this guy's like, looks like he's confused. Uh, and then they're like, hmm, what do we do? And then it says, oh, download the app. <laughs> and then on the bottom here, you do see the different things. So you got a buzzer. Oh wow, there's a servo driver. And everything looks really unique and very professional. And I love the design itself, actually very clean cut. And putting it back together should be quite easy. So let's go ahead and take this out. Uh, so these here are all the different pieces right over here. So that's actually really nice. We'll put that to the side for now. And take a look at this. So this here is like a little instruction manual or like a booklet uh, telling you exactly what is what in terms of the part list go. Like uh, what a buzzer does and like the accessories and how to kind of make everything work, which is really nice. Now over here, uh, I'm not sure what this is. Ah, sure, cool. Uh, so we have ourselves some unique examples. Uh, we'll definitely go into these in a little bit. So these here are different examples of things that we can make. Uh, so you know you can just download the app and it'll actually show it to you how to go ahead and build it. And then on the bottom here we have our other sensors. Uh, we have ourselves some different blocks. Uh, we have ourselves the, uh, the little cables and then the, uh, the different connectors. And you know all this stuff is fully expandable. So you're not just limited to this, but literally it gives you everything you need to go ahead and make something really unique. Okay, so these here are like the different pieces that it comes with. Uh, I want you to bring attention to this here. So the quality of this is actually really nice. So it's got a nice solid feel to it. And then as you look around the edge, it's actually got a rubber piece. So this here, this green piece is actually rubber. So it's actually like nicely durable and actually can like, if it falls, it'll actually take a good impact. Uh, and then here's our button right here. And literally what you do is you just go ahead and put them together just like that and they snap and blaze. How cool is that? Uh, literally they're just magnets and you just go ahead and pop them off just like that. So really cool design and you know it actually I really love the way they designed this. It's actually very user friendly especially a lot of different robotics kits that we've been seeing lately. It requires a lot of effort and a lot of different build things. This here is just literally plug and play so how awesome is that? Now uh, with that being said let's go ahead and build something and see what we can come up with. 
All right, so I just downloaded the app here and I'm ready to go. So we're gonna click on guide. Uh, so these are all the different things you can build. Obviously, you know, you get a lot of different varieties and check out all these different cards. So all these have different things on here that we can help build us something cool. It's like this is the DJ one, this is the dinosaur one. But uh, we're just gonna go ahead and start off with the first one here. This is a tail wagging cat robot. So I'm gonna click on that here. So it kind of introduces you, tells you about more in terms of where it leans towards. So this is more towards this art aspect. Uh, and then, you know, it kind of gives it a cool looking diagram of that. And then if you click on play, it'll show you exactly what you're gonna be making. So when you pet it, the tail's gonna wag. So that's actually pretty interesting stuff too. So it's using like a variety of sensors. Um, and then we're gonna click on next here and it shows how it works. Uh, so if I click on next again, it'll show how, if you put it together, what exactly will happen. So let's go ahead and try this out. So we're almost done here. We got the box ready to go, but now we just gotta go ahead and put the final steps. So we have ourselves the power button right over here, and then we're gonna go ahead and connect that with a gyroscope. Uh, so what this will do is we'll go ahead and connect to it just like that. So depending on if it moves at all, we'll go ahead and create an action, uh, which will use the uh, servo driver. Now we actually have a servo right here in the box itself that's connected to the tail of the cat itself. Uh, and the unique thing about this particular servo is that it's literally a plug and play kind of situation. So this will just go ahead and plug into the bottom of this, just like that, and then just go ahead and turn it on. And you'll see that the tail starts moving whenever the gyroscope moves. So now what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and put it on the inside here. Uh, you'll see that there's like a panel and literally it's magnetic. So it just clips in just like that. That's so cool. So let's go ahead and close this off here. All right, and then the last step we're gonna do is go ahead and draw in our eyes for the cat. So let's go ahead and uh, let's put two circles. Uh, so we got the little ears there. Oh, perfect. That's our cat. Um, so the way it works is literally it detects motion. So if you, for instance, if we just go ahead and pet the cat, the tail will move. Uh, and then if you pick up the cat, the tail will move as well too. So it works with the gyroscope, which is similar to something you'll see in your phone, uh, among other things. So it's actually a pretty cool concept. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and build the next robot. Our noisy robot is finally done, and the way it works is quite interesting. Uh, depending on how much movement you do, the louder the sound that it makes. For instance, so it kind of made a movement there. Now if I keep shaking it, if I pick this up and start shaking it, it gets louder every time you move it. So that's actually a pretty cool concept. You know, it's like a gyroscope that has to do with sound, uh, and it actually imitates it through um, the antenna itself. <laughs> With that being said, on to the next robot. All right, so our rabbit is finally done, and wow, look at this thing. It's got like a whole little facial expressions and everything. Especially with the ears, it actually makes it really come to life. Um, so you do get full control over it using the app itself. Uh, so you can actually go ahead and like change the different positions on how you want to make it look like. Uh, and you just go ahead and select what you ever you want to do. So you can go ahead and uh, kind of create your own code, which is always really nice. Um, so we can add a few different variables in here, confirm it, and then I'll change it on the screen. So it's sad now. Or if I click on it again, I can go ahead and do like angry, and I just sent an angry one over. If I could do like a heart, uh, then hit confirm. Pretty cool, right? And then you can always go ahead and customize and create your own. So for instance, if I, uh, you know, just go ahead and write like uh, conflicts. So let's, let's write a letter K. There we go, and then we'll put some red in the background, just for fun, and that should be good, whatever, that's fine. So if I hit done, and then if I hit send that right there, you'll see it's on the screen, so it like blinks it through, which is really cool. So overall, definitely a really unique uh, robot, uh, kind of gives you an idea in terms of like coding and how the screen works. So you can always go ahead and like create different functions and kind of implement this with among other different pieces. Now literally there's like plug and play, so this 
particular module used a Bluetooth. Uh, so that was actually a snap-on, which is actually really cool. Let me just go ahead and show you guys how that looked like. So for this piece particularly, so you have the uh, power, and then you have the uh, screen, and then we have ourselves the uh, Bluetooth module. Oops, sorry, there we go, right there. So we have our power, uh, then we have our screen, and then we have our Bluetooth module, which allows us to connect it to our phone and customize and create different animations on the screen. So it's actually running the, the K logo right there. So it's actually pretty cool that you can actually go and do this and just kind of customize it and do just about anything. So with that being said, on to the next robot. All right, so our DJ module is finally ready. Uh, it's actually a pretty interesting concept. So you have yourself a buzzer, and then you have yourself the gyroscope. So when you rotate it, it'll make like a sound, like a ch -ch -ch -ch. well, not really, but you get what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and press power. And then, uh, there you go. <laughs> so it's like a little turntable, you know, it's like. <laughs> How cool is that? And then, yeah, with that being said, on to the next robot. All right, so the next thing we built was the light palette. Now, literally, it's a color palette, uh, as you can see right over here, uh, in which we have an LED panel, and then we have the funny touch. So the way the funny touch works is there's a G and D sensor, so what we do is we hold this down, and then we press the different buttons here, and it'll actually light up the color. Look at that. And then if we even do both at the same time, it'll create the color in between the two. So that's actually really unique stuff right there, you know? Kind of gives you an idea of how the whole color uh, rhythm works. And you're making a cool looking light palette. That's really sick stuff. And then, yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of what this whole entire kit's about. You know, the possibilities are endless. Like there's a radio, uh, there's even a dinosaur that you can make, and then just a lot of different variations. Not to mention, you can actually even create your own. Now, even in the app itself, there's a coding section. Uh, so in terms of the coding section goes, uh, you just click on new project there, and then you can connect to the Bluetooth itself, and then you create your own connection as well as your own functionalities. And yeah, overall, it's a great quality product but the possibilities are literally endless. Uh, definitely something great for any kind of newbie in terms of uh, robotics goes, or somebody who just wants to learn about coding. Uh, definitely for more geared towards kids. Uh, but again, you know, MakeBlock did a great job kind of delivering this aspect to it. It's really easy to use. Now, if you guys had any questions about the particular inventor kit, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.